Peace and greetings, my loves. What's good? It's your girl Naya here. I've been outside, but we still gonna talk tarot and astrology, so check it out, right? For whatever reason, there's been a lot of questions circulating um, in regards to um, which tarot scopes you should watch. So, you know, a lot of times you'll hear in the beginning of a tarot scope video, this is for your sun, your moon, or your rising sign. So, in essence, when you are reading an astrology chart, right, the different planets are representative of a different aspect of the makeup of who you are. So, you know, if you're watching a uh, sun, uh, if you're, so let's say you are watching <laughs> um the tower school for your sun sign sometimes that might not always hit but if you put it in perspective it, it may so you know if you think about the sun as your um your consciousness like the energy kind of what you uh what you see your your outer world um you can think of it in that context the moon is your emotional body. It's your emotional world. It's how you're feeling uh, within yourself that you're not necessarily sharing with other people. Um, so you can watch your moon sign, tarot scope in regards, to, you know, with that in the back of your mind, kind of like, okay, this is referring to maybe my, my inner dialogue, whereas the sun sign is maybe talking about your, what you're perceiving and what you're seeing and kind of what you're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and then your rising sign, your rising sign is also about what you kind of put in the world, but it's more about how people are perceiving you. It's kind of like the persona that you, um, that you give off. So people who don't know you, um, necessarily, you might come across as a fill in the zodiac sign. Um, so you can look at, it, look at it in that context when you're watching a tarot scope. So if, you know, a lot of other people... Uh, readers, they might suggest that you look at your Venus sign too. This could be if you were more curious about um, how you are receiving or um, in, in the context of, of, of love and in kind of a harmony and, and I want to say earthy things because Mars is kind of how you approach uh love if you will and and venus is about how you need to receive it so um so there's that context um a lot of people don't usually watch for their mars but your mars could give you insights into how uh you need to assert yourself or maybe how you might need to be courageous um in order to take the next step moving forward. So it would be what you need to um, give out, the energy you need to give out to move forward. Whereas Venus is kind of what you need um, to receive, to feel content. Does that make sense? So, so this is just kind of a little, um, you know, insight on, on how you can watch um, tarot scope videos and kind of get a, a well-rounded reading about maybe what's going on in your life. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there because there's been a lot of folks who, for some reason, this question keeps coming up. So I figured I'd go ahead and answer that because they kind of ask, like, well, wh which, you know, tarot scopes do you watch? And I'm like, well, I, I, I can't help myself. I kind of watch them all because I understand that they are all representative of a different facet of my life and so we can compartmentalize what we're going through by understanding what the planets represent in a um an, a natal chart or a, an astrology chart so i hope that helps clarify um some things for you guys and i look forward to continuing recording these videos i hope this helps uh, if you have any additional questions go ahead and leave them in the comments and i will catch you on the next one